I have the amazing, gorgeous Courtenay Semmel with me, who is one of the executive team of Filmcoin. And this is the first time that Filmcoin, at the point of this recording, is in pre-launch phase. It is not out yet. And this is an incredible project. So I am so happy to have you with me and to be able to talk about this, what it's doing, how you got into crypto, why are you part of Filmcoin? And then I want to also, yeah, just hear a little bit of your history of what took you on this path. Thank you so much for having me. It's like, it's such an exciting new journey um, to be in this world. I'm happy to see you in this world too. Um, it's definitely at the forefront of the future and we are going into the metaverse and I cannot wait. So, um, you know, I was born in film. Uh, my father ran a film studio and it's kind of, and then he moved over to Yahoo. So it was kind of that mix between television and film. And it was when web one turned into web two, which is now turning into web three. And, you know, I heard a lot of conversations growing up about how is they hired someone from a film studio to come and run Yahoo because it was time to bring content to, you know, the web two version. And here and we what, are. What film, can you share what film studio that was? I know, but I just love you to. Yeah, it was that. Warner Brothers. So he was the CEO of Warner Brothers until uh, 1998. So all of my years of growing up until I was a senior in high school. So my main background, and I've worked in film, I studied film. I have a degree in writing literature publishing and worked in production and development my entire years growing up. So um, that's kind of my background, just to give you a bit of it. What was your most... What is a, an amazing, memorable moment from growing up in an iconic film family, really being at the going, front of the movie producing? Uh, going on the set of The Goonies. Ooh. That would be, so I remember being on the set of The Goonies and taking all of the coins, which is funny, all the gold coins from the pirate ship. So that is my greatest, it's kind of funny, now it's full circle, because now all I talk about is coins all day long, so. I love that. Yeah, so that was, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. So yeah, you were saying, so at that point, then your father went from Warner Brothers on to, to run Yahoo. And I remember when he said, I'm leaving Warner Brothers to go run this company Yahoo, do you want to come to a yodeling contest? I'm like, what is a yodeling contest? No, <laughs> premiere versus yodeling contest, no thank you. And what is Yahoo? Also, you don't even know really how to turn on a computer, do you? I mean, cause it was so early back then. Um, and I think he was at the forefront of the internet and um, you know, bringing content onto the web platform. So. I watched him do that and we watched the world kind of turn when the, with the internet. And here we are again with web three and a metaverse in front of us. And that's, you know, so, yeah. So which leads to film coin and, and then you've been in film and television and have done award-winning projects over the years as well. So how did you go and, how did it, how did you get involved with Filmcoin? And yeah, how did that come about? I mean, I see Terry Stone is one of your, your main partners and, and David, am I going to pronounce it right? Van, Van David? Yeah, that sounds, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So basically I was in film as you know, my entire life. And then I kind of went into the reality TV world, which was great to learn production. I also, act, well, I was an actress when I was younger. So reality TV was a different medium for that, except you're playing yourself. And I think you run away from what your family does when you're younger. A lot of the times, if your father's a dentist, you don't want to be a dentist. Like you want to do anything but that or a lawyer. It doesn't matter what your parents' profession is. I think you run away from it. And I know I did because I was trying to find, you know, my own mark 
in this world. And so I went over to reality TV and then, you know, that, that era kind of ended of it. Can you share a little you know, bit about your reality TV experience? What, what was the biggest, what was the show that you were on that you had, I guess, the great lesson from that moved Well, I think I was at the forefront of reality TV. So I was, the first show I was on was in 2005 called Filthy Rich Cattle Drive on the E! Network. Uh, I didn't even know what reality TV was when they asked me to be on a TV show. So that, I mean, just being a part of the forefront of reality TV was huge. Um, that, but ours was real. So I thought it was fake, like acting, like they throw you into a trailer and then you go out and you act for a few hours and then that's that. No, they just dropped us off in the middle of like, literally in the fields, in the forest, gave us a tent. It was all real. We had to find plugs to put our cell phones in to charge them. No hair, no makeup. We showered with a bucket. Um, and But it was the most incredible experience of my life. And, you know, I did it because it was for charity. They took two teams. There was 10 of us. And there were two teams that raised money for kids with autism to be able to have equine therapy. So that was kind of why I decided, yeah, let's do this for the summer. Um, it was a three week shoot, uh, but it kind of showed me production on a, on the opposite end from being an actress to them becoming, you know, seeing how production works. So I loved reality TV. I did a bunch of pilots and a bunch of, you know, one-off cameos um, throughout my years, but I've always been into film and writing. That's really my, um, that's my background. And that's what I love. So I decided to go back into it about two years, right before the pandemic, I picked a perfect time. Huh? And I decided to executive produ produce my first film. It was called The Sinners. And um, I love the group. It was seven female leads, seven female producers, female director and female writer. And, it was, and her name was Courtney Page. And it was her first feature film. And it was teen horror with an LGBTQ undertone and with religion. And I just felt like it was the one. I wanted to support Courtney, I wanted to support women. And I decided this is gonna be my first entrance back into the film industry. So I did that right before the pandemic and um, I did invest. So I'm an executive producer on that. And um, we made it to the Mammoth Film Festival, which oddly enough is happening Today it started. Wow. And that's a big deal to so get in that film festival. And you did a lot of that. You were accepted to a lot of the film festival circuit. So we made it to the first one in person, which was Mammoth. And two days after we got back, the world went into lockdown. And then we were accepted into, I'd say, at least eight more festivals after that, which were all done digitally, which was interesting to see. You know, it was kind of like the metaverse was already starting. Um, I would be sitting on my ottoman with my laptop, my glass of wine, and in pajamas watching the film festivals. So it was different. I did always say I'll be at Cannes one year, and I think we did make it into some form of Cannes this year, but um, I didn't get to go. But the good news is we sold it, and Lifetime bought it, and Amazing. even better news, Two years later, last week, I finally received my return, my investment return, Amazing. which brings me into why film coin. So I invested. I'd been waiting, waiting, waiting to get my money back. That's A. So we'll keep that over here for a second. And uh, as we know, I moved back to London midway through the pandemic. And I love London because it's my heart and soul, but I was continually manifesting how, for one, I need to find the entertainment industry in London because I hadn't met anyone so far that was in it. And two, how can I stay in London and do film, but kind of be the bridge to the US? Because all, everyone I know is in the US. I don't know one person in film in the UK. So that was kind of what I had planted. I planted a seed for that for about a year and a half the entire time during the pandemic. And I was getting, you know, lots of projects after, you know, I kind of announced that I'm back in film. I was getting many scripts. I probably got about 50 scripts within the past year. People wanting me to fund 
or you know, can I can I sell them basically and can I package it? And you know, I kind of kept getting frustrated because it's a really hard process for independent producers, unless you are already at one of the huge production companies or you have a huge fund to make independent films, it's very hard to get them there. So everyone's bringing them to me. And at that point, I, I'm coming off of a film where I'm learning about film financing for the first time ever. You know, we learn by doing. And I'm realizing that how do people make their money back? Like I literally couldn't understand, like, cause the amount of money I put into this film was minimal compared to the amounts that, you know, funds put in. And unless you're a blockbuster film and you're a studio movie, 90% of the time you don't get your money back. So I had that on my brain. I also knew how exhausting the process is. Me being one person without a com full company behind me, I would love to help everyone in their projects, but it was just literally exhausting to me. You know, um, so in comes literally a miracle worker, which was Terry Stone. So I was introduced to Terry Stone um, from a photographer that I met at um, a screening, my friend's screening in London. So I made it to one screening before I went back to LA, before lockdown happened. And I met this fabulous photographer there and I had no one to talk to because I didn't know anyone in London, especially in the industry. So there I was talking to the photographer and um, we kept in touch. COVID happened, he got COVID and I just kept sending him all of these meditations to help him heal when he was in the hospital. And that's all I did, didn't think anything of it. He was just such a sweet man and always said, I'll introduce you if there's anyone that I meet, you know, I'll totally pass them their way your way. Cut to a year and a half later, Terry Stone starts following me on Insta on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, you see the blue tick. So you kind of look. And I looked and I'm like, I have no idea why he's following me. We had no one in common. And then the photographer wrote me and said, thank you for being so kind to me um, when I had COVID. And that was that. And he goes, I've, I have someone reaching out to you. And it was Terry. So Terry and I sat down we had no idea what we were going to do together. And he brought up film coin and he taught me literally at a dinner, a two hour dinner. He sat down and told me all taught me about crypto NFTs taught me about film coin. And it kind of just clicked. It took me a few weeks to digest everything he said, but once I got there, I mean, it is a new world. It gives, it still gives me headaches once in a while. Do you get like, it's like a migraine after yeah, all the information is coming in. Yeah. It's a lot to learn, but I said, this is it. So once I finally digested it and understood it, I realized that this is the future. This is the future in film. Um, it's impossible to finance films, especially independent filmmakers. You know, he's lucky because he has his own production company, you know, and he's funded. But for most people, it's impossible. So if I'm having a hard time doing it I, with all my connections, I can't imagine what what happens with normal people. So um, that was kind of my journey into it. So I jumped in and film coin. I feel is literally going to save the independent film industry, the television industry when it comes to financing. And I look at this as a massive challenge. Like my father had a challenge when it came to web two, here we go with web three. And it's so fascinating. It's like, we're all coming together. The ones at the forefront of it, like you, like me and all the people that reached out once they saw the film coin, you know, articles come out. Um, and I, I'm seeing my, some of my friends come up and the first uh, EPing, the first TV show, all funded by crypto. Uh, the trouble is we all have to come together at this point to make it happen. We've seen it work with art. We've seen it work with music. And now it's film and television's turn. And it is just so exciting. So that's kind of, I, it's just the wave of the future. It needs to happen. Um, we need it in our industry. I agree 100%. Uh, many years back, I used to be an independent film producer. I know what it, I understand. It was hard to get it off the ground. 
And, and then I think what I really like about having read the white paper on Filmcoin is that it creates total transparency so that as, as, as people decide collectively, I want to be part of Filmcoin and the slate of projects that they're launching. I, I saw one of them that you have, what was it? The um, Terry's one about the gangs, the, the gang background, the untrap. Can you remember, remind me the name? Tales of from the Trap. That, Tales from the Trap. That looks like a great project. And just, I think from an investor standpoint, well, some people, they're not going to be able to be, say, um, be able to even invest uh, normally under a normal structure. And whereas um, with the film coin, anyone, my understanding is anyone could participate so long as it's under whatever the regulations are for that person's country, whether it's in the UK, the US, or one has to do one's due diligence on that. But to be able to participate, that it doesn't have to be, say, a $10,000 minimum or 20000 minimum, that you have to be that accredited investor, that you can participate, depending on your state. And that also, I think the biggest part is, like what you were saying, if you're an independent, if you're an independent producer or someone who is working on the film to get paid, there hasn't been that transparency sometimes from certain studios. So, well, you'll get paid when the project goes into net profit. How do we know when it's going to go into net profit? And that is the brilliance of Filmcoin, I think, is because everything is recorded on the blockchain and you have a 100% audit trail and transparency. And so to me, Filmcoin is a coin of of the people for anyone and everyone who is passionate about film and then for any of your creators whether they're from a um, director of photography to art director to actor to writer to producer across the whole gamut that they are going to be compensated fairly that they don't have to worry to fight for that that you're setting up really a, a fairness and transparency in film that was my understanding from reading the white paper and then and looking at and I like the tokenomics of it as well just looking at it's not some crazy diluted number I mean it because you're raising I think right now it looks like that that raise was what between 15 and 21 million dollars yes. to 4 billion I think it was 4 billion tokens market cap yeah market cap market. yes that looked like a really help very healthy and just interesting Sort of how I remember when Robert Redford created Sundance and that, you know, that how everything grew from something so small. I really had the sense of film coin from an intuitive, instinctive level. My feeling was, wow, this is going to do even more. I feel like it's going to do even more than it set out to do. Yeah, I think that's what we all figured out once it started and we went through the process. That's why I'm so excited about it because actually everyone around the world is going to be able to be a part of Filmcoin. Um, once we do the launch, we're starting obviously in the UK because that's where Terry is. And the first film will be Tales from the Trap. But what Filmcoin is also going to bring to the people are, people love movies. Why do you go to movies? Because you love the people in movie. You love film. You love the actors in the film. You're a fan of the actors. Now you can be a part of it. There's gonna be so many different contests where people can come on, get a walk-in um, on, a, on a film. You can own NFTs, you can own, you know, there's so much possibility we can do with it being on the blockchain. With NFTs, there's just so much we can do to also allow everyone who wants to be a part of Film Coin to be a part of it. It's like, why are the biggest TV shows um, the most successful ones, Mass Singer, Dancing with the Stars. Um, these are the shows that have been on forever and ever because the fans get to be a part of it. And so at this point, you get to invest in your favorite actors, your favorite filmmakers, and you're going to have the opportunity to, there's just, it's endless possibility. And I'm, yeah. Yeah, you get to be a really a creative, you get to be part of that creative experience. And in the past, it was only maybe for a, a very limited amount of people. So I see what exactly. you're saying, you're bringing it on a more mass level. I also see when when you do list, you're going to be initially, Filmcoin is going to be on Challengely and FT, FTMI? F 
FTF, I have it here actually. FW, <laughs> it was the former um, Bitcoin.com. I'm gonna just pull this up. I'm just gonna very briefly just pull this up. So I, I'm seeing here, it's, a, oh yes, FM, FW, if I can show this. So is this, this you're gonna be on this exchange first? Yes, yeah, so that will be the first one. So that was the original Bitcoin.com, but they've rebranded it um, into what you just pulled up. And then, and then Challengely, I know as well. And then it says here, future exchanges. You're going to be on Crypto.com, Coinbase, and Binance. Those are really, really big exchanges. Yeah, well, one of our um, board members um, and heads of our company is, uh, is actually the founder of bitcoin.com amazing so we have a great team behind us I, I mean look everyone is really anxious no one's actually done it yet but i can tell you that on the 15th we mint our coin so february 15th we are minting on the exchange and we go live and launch on the 28th of february and it has not been done yet that a film has fully been financed with crypto so this is a huge mission film coin. They've tried it. There was one with Anthony Hopkins, um, but I don't think it, I don't know what happened with it, um, but this will be at least in the UK, it will be the first one to launch. And then how, in terms of people going into the, if they wanna go into the pre-sale for it, um, how, how would they do, let me just scroll back here. How would they go into that pre-sale? It looks like there's, you can see here, here are the films. Here are some of the yeah. different projects that you've got. Okay. So it's like eight days away for this launch pad, right? So the launch pad. Eight happening. days. <laughs> okay. So if one goes, I see, okay. So you're filling out the contact information and then you continue to payment and there's a 20% discount public pre-sale minting on the 28th you're saying so one if i'm in the us can i can i go in and and, and buy in on that pre-sale i think so yes okay I, but if not worst case scenario i could wait for when it hits and on the 28th yeah so it's so, gonna hit we were doing contests and stuff but i think the contest ended um I'm not, as we know, this is just new for everyone. So coming in the forefront, I just know that it's time for film and television and I see how it's going to work. And we have a lot of amazing projects because once we go, I'm in charge of the US, so I'm not really sure about the UK, but once we launch in the UK on the 28th, so you know, hopefully everyone can go out right now and get your coins. So check that website and try it out. Otherwise on the 28th, you will definitely be able to buy coins, be it film coin. And um, you know, Terry, Terry's amazing. He's getting ready to go into pre-production. The second we get those funds, he will begin the process of making Tales from the Trap. And we're so excited. There's just so much crossover to be done with music, with artists, you know, with just everyone, it's going to be the most exciting time coming soon. So and so then I'll go ahead. I'll be bringing it to the U S and I can already assure you there are amazing people ready to partner with film coin, amazing films. So we just kind of got to, we got to send all the love in the world to Terry that he gets through this, that film coin does it because we're about to break history. If this happens on the 28th. So it's, I agree with it's you. very exciting. And I think also when I looked at your executive team, which I understand obviously you are you are part of that executive team and, and we've known each other a, a few years and I've, I've seen you do all the different amazing things that you're doing. Um, with David, when I looked at David's background and seeing that he was a partner at KPMG, Australia, right? That, I mean, that's yes. no small feat when you're coming from that background, that level of compliance and due diligence and understanding of, of tax laws that one has to have just to, 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 to see who was involved. And then, like you said, um, Chowdhury, who's the name of the, um, Danish, Danish. yeah, Danish Chowdhury, right from the founder of the, uh, Bitcoin.com. I mean, you've got really, uh, each 
one of you who is involved has achieved so much and, and has a wealth of experience. And then to see that diversity and different expertise, career paths come together in this way. I mean, I don't, I don't see why, you know, there's always a risk with launching something, but I could see how much work and just everything that we have put into the website, the tokenomics, all of it. Are you going to be doing a film festival for Filmcoin at some point? I don't, well, so right now we're gonna end up partnering with a lot of different exciting things and hopefully, you know, I'm waiting for film. Like a metaverse film festival. I could just see where everyone gets to meet up at Filmcoin and, mm -hmm. and have their different avatars and go to that premiere within the metaverse, right? That's that whole. Exactly. So yeah. we will be in the metaverse. We will, you know, cause I'm sure Sundance and all of them are gonna end up in the metaverse as well. But film coin, the really cool thing about film coin is we can partner with anyone. So any production company, we are basically a production arm of finance. So we want to get in on all the exciting projects. We just want to give more people the opportunity to make their films. Eventually, one day we're hoping that everyone will be able to. But for right now, we're going to take, you know, our film expertise and we're merging these two worlds, which has been fascinating. I mean, Paul Carroll, who's amazing on our team, Danish, who's amazing, uh, David, we've only spoke a few times. They're, we're all in different countries, it's kind of funny, but um, it's so cool to see these two wor worlds merge together. Um, it's been exciting, but we have been working 24 seven since the day I came on board in November until now, this is gonna be my first week off. I've been worked through Christmas, worked through New Year's, because we have so many exciting things to bring to Filmcoin. We're just so excited to launch. I mean, I would love to hear also everything you learned at the uh, Crypto Tax Summit too. It's so exciting. Um, is there anything we need to look out for or anything you can teach us? Oh my gosh, well, I just, I feel like there's a synergy. I, I just felt like I could see Filmcoin and crypto because the founders of Crypto Tax Summit, Mark J. Kohler and Matt Sorensen, whenever they're doing something talking about the taxation of crypto and the legalization, what those implications are for crypto, they always reference movies. They'll always talk about a favorite movie or a favorite TV show or music that they love. They're super creative at heart and so I, I just was like oh I can see some synergy there for that there's a lot of alignment that was there I even like when I look at crypto tax summit I look at film coin but all the same colors <laughs> which is literally you're matching our logo right now it's I amazing. think one of the things that stands out to me for example with like with Mark and Matt their thing is about being able to help the person who doesn't have the resources to be able to understand tax and legal and what I hear the parallel with Filmcoin and what you're doing and your mission that you're focused on is being able to make give a voice and also a platform for filmmakers who would not normally be able to get their projects off the ground to make sure they are compensated fairly that there is a, a fair audit trail with things and then also to bring just a a regular folk, a regular person who doesn't have experience in film to give them that experience. When I was an independent film years ago and someone wanted to get a walk on part, like you're saying, or to have a, uh, some type of credit on it, they would have to pay at least ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to be able to have that experience. So you're making that accessible to people. And that's really cool. I mean, that it's, it's, I love it. I love what you're doing yeah. with this. We really are. And, you know, I'm hoping that it gets regulated soon. And I'm hoping that film and TV can help make that happen because in all honesty, all we're trying to do is make entertainment to bring to the world. That's what film and television is. And, you know, think about all the times you've been sad or upset or, you know, lost someone or going through something and you're watching entertainment, like, it can help you or you're listening to music, whatever it is in entertainment. And that's kind of just what we're trying to do here, but giving more opportunities, as you said, for more people to be able to do that. Because I might get a script that I don't have to go to a studio with. You know, if Filmcoin wants to be a part of it, 
we can make that happen. You know, obviously we're starting with some of the, the great filmmakers and the actresses and actors who you guys all love out there. And they're going to want to be a part of it too, because, you know, they want to make films. They want to entertain. That's why they're in this business. And we're going to bring more opportunities by being able to bring more financing to their films. So, um, and their television projects, but that's to be continued. Um, but for film for right now, that's all we're trying to do. I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to make entertainment to bring to the world. So I'm incredibly excited to be on this journey and I truly believe it's going to change the world. And I just wish that the, whoever's in charge would just like, let us, you know, do what we want to do and bring entertainment. So I believe that will happen. I do. I, I think there will be healthy, positive regulation that comes and that, that what you're doing is, is innovative and very positive and, and I think it'll be fine. I really do. Obviously, not, not this is just my point of view. And, and again, just for anyone here on, on Crypto Angel Network, this is not investment advice. You must do your own due diligence if you do decide to be a part of Filmcoin, if you do decide to get those tokens. And, and I'm also not giving tax or legal advice either. <laughs> just just want to be clear. I don't know that. anything. Exactly. I don't even have a coin. So for me to jump on this means that there's something there. And especially with my background in film and especially the team behind this project, I literally don't even have one coin in general. So on the 15th, I will receive my first set of coins. Um, and... I'm just excited to go on this journey. I, there was no way I could have said no to this opportunity and I need to bring this to the world. And I believe that walking into web three, this is it. Like it is, the entire industry is going to change when this happens I agree. online. I agree, it's totally in line with everything, the mission of what Ethereum is doing, of Bitcoin, just the entire movement of, of cryptocurrency at large, uh, amazing. So I really appreciate you being here and, and sharing this pre-launch. Pre you know, some people are gonna see this afterwards they, and we'll be able to get it on the exchanges. So they would go to thefilmcoin.io that's the website, yeah. the website, thefilmcoin.io. And also to make sure to follow on Instagram at thefilmcoin. And also there is, you would be able to see here also Courtenay's Instagram as well. So yeah. to follow at Courtenay Semmel. All over yes, the place, right? Yes. <laughs> Even our posts, we give good news from the metaverse on the Filmcoin page. We are sending good vibes and we are always giving good news from the metaverse. So please come check us out. And thank you so much for having me, Joanne. I'm so excited. We're thank finally you. in the same world. Yes, I love it. Amazing. It so exciting.